Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £500 worth of £2 coins to have a hunt through, looking for commemoratives, ones with more than face value, but ideally the one we still need to finish the book. We need Commonwealth Games England, and that is all the commemoratives, up to and including the Great Fire of London, although the 2022 Britannia, if we find that along the way, we'll add that in as well, but otherwise we'll be complete. We're so close, so tantalisingly close. So let's get this back to see what we find. Okay then, what do we want to see? That's technologies, we don't particularly want technologies, there are some lower minted years, just not low enough that I think they're worth keeping. Our first commemorative is this one, the World War One Army Centenary, which itself is a fairly common coin, although the edge inscription should read for king and country, but some of them were released with the Great Fire of London's edge inscription, the whole city in dreadful flame, so let's check. Uh, Oh, got upside down. And country. <laughs> I was trying to figure out what that said there. But no. So no age inscription error to be found on that. Um, we do know, obviously, there's the Shakespeare Tragedies £2 coin, which has got the edge inscription error on. It's got actually that one's edge inscription for king and country. Um, and there seems to be <laughs> new edge inscriptions popping up left, right and centre. So at the end of the video, naturally, I will look through all of the commemoratives for their edge inscription to see whether we've got anything of any interest. Okay, so diddly's on that bag. Not what we want to see. But no, um, quite exciting. The city's the uh, city's view coin set has just been released as of recording, which is quite exciting. A new coin set. Trinity House there, one of my favourite circulating designs. Quite simplistic in its design. But uh, so yeah, it's the, the Cities of London. If you haven't seen it, I have made a video over on the Britannia Coin Company's YouTube channel. So be sure to go check that out. It's a beautiful design. Um, it's not it's got a bunk version. They're all just precious metal releases. But um, I would anticipate this becoming a popular series as it grows. And I'm fascinated to know where it's going to go. Rugby World Cup there. Another fairly common one you see quite often. We've got another chance to get ourselves the wrong edge inscription. No, that's fine. That's his country. So, nothing too exciting there. But no, the exciting thing is about where that city set is going to go in the future. Because I was anticipating it staying in the UK originally. But the write-up on the Royal Mint's website when it got released was that it's going to be going to all the different city views across the world, which is exciting. Steam locomotive there, another fairly common one, locomotive or trevithic. But yes, I'm excited about, I'm trying to think whether this is going to go up before or after the next Royal Mint trip. I think it's going to come up before. Um, that is all planned for the 21st and the 22nd of May. I'm going on the 2pm tours, so if you're out and about or you want to come say hi, feel free to. Florence Nightingale there, we've got counters tracking this coin, how many we find over the course of filling the book. It's a fairly common coin, but it is my favourite circulating design. It's just such a pretty design. Only face value, but we won't hold that against it, it's still a lovely design. Brunel's Achievements, the arches at Paddington Station. Again, a very common one you see quite often. Part of a two coin set with Brunel's portrait as well, that's a nice one. Our first, whoa, crash bang wallop. First coin over face value, Golden Guinea. Lovely, lovely design. Not massively over face value though, you won't be able to retire having found that in circulation sadly, but definitely in my mind's a keeper. I've got a fair few of them in my wider collection. But I must admit, as of recording, my Cities of London coin City views, London. I can't figure out how to. What, what, I can't figure out the, the phrasing of it yet. I'm not used to it. It's still quite new. Um, it turned up unbelievably quick. It came out on the Thursday and was in my hands by the Saturday, uh, which is a, a nice change up because I am, as of recording, still awaiting my silverproof eel. It's been on pre-order for a fair while, and my what was the other one that came out? Well, this is the Rugby World Cup again. The Eeyore and my Peter Rabbits, that was it. 2022 Peter Rabbits. No idea where they are. On their way. 
production delays and whatnot so it'd be nice when they do arrive to be able to have that and have a look at it but no it was surprising how well the 2022 peter rabbits have done i heard stories of the colorized bunk coin selling out pretty quickly and rising in value which is always an added bonus is not the key thing for me i just like having the coins ve day anniversary there very common another one we've got counters for but it's nice to see a peter rabbit doing well after so many years of peter rabbits not exactly selling like hotcakes so this this year finally it has sprung up which does beg the question what's gonna happen next year dna double helix lovely intricate design but another fairly common one it does seem to be a coin or a set will do very well and then the next year it's followed up with massive mintages which then struggles to sell but um, fingers crossed maybe they found they can find themselves a sweet spot so that enough that collectors can all get what they want and add a bit of value to the purchase potentially but who really knows you never can tell but no my oh that's nice isle of man it's the rally i called it the tt by accident before we've got aa die lettering 1998 that's superb always welcome a territory coin because they are not minted for uk change naturally um, and we shouldn't find them in our uk circulating change but when we do they're pretty cool to find you don't see them that often especially on the two pound coin there's the uh there is one i can't remember what it's called now cross or thorold or something like that it's got these caricatures on it i've seen the coin and i've been sent the coin i've got the coin in my collection but i've never found one i think it'd be a really fun coin to find in a hunt obviously top of the list i want an nisc two pound coin one that has not been minted for circulation uh, i found my fair share of 50ps but never a two pound coin but if we have an infinite amount of coins over an infinite amount of, an infinite amount of time Surely we'll find one. Uh, what I will also check on the uh, technologies is for rotation errors. So if you hold it like this, the date at the bottom, two pounds at the top, rotate it. That's the way the queen should be facing. But we found a fair few rotation errors, especially the 2015 ones. Another Trevithic, which will pop just there. And we're flying through that. We'll do an edge hunt then. We haven't done one of those yet. So we'll check the edge inscription. The edge inscription standing on the shoulders of giants is an Isaac Newton quote and it's on the technology design but anything that's not standing on the shoulders of giants will be something commemorative. Mm. I don't think we've got anything there. We'll flick through it just to be doubly sure, make sure I'm not being a bozo. I'm missing that. Let's try another bag. Sometimes we get really lucky with the edge inscriptions, sometimes not. Oh dear. The curse of the edge hunt is striking. Nothing in that bag either. Right, last bag to do with an edge hunt. We've got a few more bags after that. Hopefully. Hopefully we can find something. Oh, there we go. Third one down. Victory. Magnanimity. In peace and goodwill will be the VE Day anniversary. There we go. That'd be, it would be so cool to read the inscription and say, ah, oh, that'll be this coin, and for it to be an error. A uh, very shiny one there, third one down now. No, I think that's all we're getting in this bag. <laughs> one commemorative in three bags. Not the odds we want to see. But it's fine, we've got a couple of nice finds. <laughs> With three bags to go. You never know what might strike. And the other thing worth mentioning, this portrait of the Queen, you can see she's got a necklace, it's a bit worn away there. But she has a necklace there, which um, lots of people think is rare and scarce. It was only this year that it was on uh, 97 coin, because from 1998 it turned to the new, a new portrait of the Queen. So there were an absolute ton of those minted, so unfortunately nothing too exciting.
Deary dear. Where's that commonwealth? Where is that commonwealth? Oh. 2017. What could that be? Nothing circulated in 2017. Nothing circulated in 2017. If I just... Have we got an NIFC here? My hand is somewhat shaking now. I'm right thinking, yeah. Great Fire London is the last circulating £2 coin. Other than the 2022 Britannia. Have we just summoned... An NIFC or a Britannia? Oh my word! It's Jane Austen! Holy Toledo! What on earth is that doing in this bag? <laughs> I can't believe it! My first NIFC £2 coin! I do know that a bunch of these were given out to people. Um, it happened local to me because I was living in Basingstoke and they were giving them out. Sadly, I was working away from Basingstoke that day and missed them. But I can't believe we've just found... And an NFC £2 coin. In over four years of doing this, this has never happened. My word. And what beautiful condition it's in as well. You can see, obviously, it's, it's got some marks on it. I think we saw on the obverse as well. So it's been in circulation a little bit because it's been clinked around. But my word. So what's the age inscription on this then? I couldn't even tell you. There is no... Doing without money there is no doing without money it must be a quote from a book my word well 2017 <laughs> oh my lord okay okay let's stay calm and carry on. We've got one bag left to go. The penultimate bag. What a find. Whew. Wow. Well, for those of you that watch this far in the video, you might be interested to know I've got a Discord server. Links are in the description. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, the PO Box, and I'm on the Britannia Coin Company's YouTube channel as well. Links all down in the description, so go do the do's and whatever. But my word, how cool is that? Right. I'm going to check for rotation errors. Rotation and edge inscription errors on the commemoratives. I've just found another bag whilst I was clearing away the rest of the rubbish. <laughs> Trust me to leave a bag, we probably won't find anything in it. But we'll go through it quickly. Oh, we have got something. VE Day Anniversary, uh, which we've had already today. Oh, a couple more there. Active Union, which we haven't had today, but it's a very common coin. And then another World War I Army Centenary. Edge inscription reads and country, so that's fine. No edge inscription error there. Well, we've got a few, so that wasn't a totally wasted endeavour. Now I'm going to carry on checking through the rest of the stuff. Rotation edge inscriptions are all fine in terms of a star find. I wonder what I'm going to pick. Um, I would probably pick the Jane Austen, arguably my favourite find of the year so far, because um, an NIFC two pound coin has long been on my bucket list of things I would love to find. So. I am chuffed and over the moon to be able to tick that off my list. Um, uh, well, I'll see you again in four more years with the next one I find. <laughs> but no, truly remarkable, amazing stuff. I am still somewhat agog that uh, that has turned up in one of my hunts. Amazing stuff. Well, all that leads me to do now is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Let me know what your favourite coin is and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.